Our weed of the week is a grass, and boy, I hate identifying grasses. It's a lot more difficult than broadleaves. They don't just stand out to you. Well, it's one of those grasses that isn't very difficult to identify as long as you're willing to look fairly close. So when you're looking at our weed of the week quack grass, what you want to look for is oracles. Yep, it's these little things that wrap around the stem of the grass plant. So right I, at the end of the leaf where that hooks up to the stem, it's got some finger-like projections that hook around that stem. And once you see those finger-like projections, it's a very good chance you're looking at quack grass. Well, the tough thing about quack grass is it's a perennial weed. So it's got a deep root system with rhizomes and usually a patch will be there for many years. So it is kind of hard to control. And one of the reasons why we wanted to talk about it today is we're in a field that was tilled. And you know what we hate when it comes to quack grass? tillage because when you till that quack grass patch up you will actually cut the rhizomes below ground and now instead of having one great big plant that you can kill with Roundup. Now you've got a whole bunch of little plants and some of those plants might not even have shoots out of the ground yet. So then you go along, you think, oh, I've got Roundup crops. I can kill quack grass. <laughs> well, you can Good kill luck. the stuff that's up, but it makes it a lot more difficult when you've done the tillage. So I often tell people, if you've got a quack grass patch, lift your tillage tool up, go across the quack grass patch, then come back in and spray a very high rate of Roundup. The big thing with Roundup is you have to have a strong enough rate for it to get down in that plant move all the way through and kill every growing point. So it does take a very high rate of Roundup compared to the amount that it takes for other weeds. So in different areas where we see it the worst is in lawns. It's really difficult. You have to spray Roundup and kill that spot in the lawn. So a lot of people don't like doing it. It's the only way to get rid of quack grass. In alfalfa, quack grass can get really tough too. You can try and knock it back a little bit with some of the grass killers, but nothing's going to help it until you completely wipe it out. Well, I don't know. I mean, if you, if you went out there with a very high rate of select max multiple times per year, you uh, would do yeah, okay. Yeah, but you can't afford to do it. That's the problem. <laughs> so when you are taking alfalfa out, watch for quack grass. When you're taking CRP out, watch for quack grass. If you have it, make sure you're spraying two or three quarts of Roundup per acre so you do a good job. Now, killing. the other key is keep your water volume low. Don't think, oh, I'm going to spray three quarts of Roundup per acre. I'm going to go 20 gallons of water. Nope, you need to be 10 gallons of water or less. I prefer five. You want to have a very concentrated droplet. Well, quack grass is our weed of the week, but there's more Ag PhD to come after this.